guys what's going on welcome back to my channel go ahead and let you know right now this will be a long video because this video actually ended up being 30 minutes long and I know no one wants to sit here for 30 minutes I decided to break it up into two parts so this first part is going to be me strictly just doing brows and eyes and then I'll have the second part up tomorrow and that'll just be doing the remainder of the face so if you don't like long videos, if you don't like the sound of my voice, if you don't like to listen to people talk, exit stage left, don't even watch it, all good. But if you do like long videos, if you're a beginner in makeup and you're wanting to learn some stuff, this video is for you or if you're just someone that just loves watching makeup. So what we're doing today is simple basic makeup. I got an email from Ash Dela. I hope I said your name right. I will post it on the screen somewhere here but I got a video. I got a video. I got an email. She was just basically saying hey I don't wear makeup. I want to wear makeup when I go girls night out with my husband but not too too much. So I was like you know what let me do a video on just your simple everyday makeup. Let's go ahead and get started. Please keep in mind that I am oily. So some of my primers and things, if you are dry, I'll go ahead and tell you they won't work for you. I do not have dry skin personally, so I can't give you a hardcore recommendation, but I can definitely kind of guide you in the right place. So for my primers, I like to use Cover FX Mattifying Primer. This is really good. Or the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I love this because it sinks right into my pores. I have huge pores, and it just makes everything look nice and smooth. All right, so I'm actually going to, what do I want to do today? I'm going to use this. And I'm just going to push this right on in here. And I know it's very overwhelming, especially if you're new to makeup and you're just trying to figure out, oh my God, what to use, where do I start? Don't stress yourself out. I always tell people to pick three concerns. What are your three main concerns? And those are the things that you will focus on. So for me, my three main concerns, definitely my oily skin. So no matter what, I typically always wear this. I can wear this if I don't want to put on any makeup just to kind of make everything look nice and smooth. Um, my brows, that's like my top notch concern because I feel like a naked mole rat when I don't have my brows filled in. I'm just like, mm, that's not cute. You're not popping. So my oily skin and my brows. Everything else is just extra for me. But just find your main concerns and then just zone in on those, all right? So I have my skin primed and ready to go. And actually, give me one second because it is 97 degrees in Charlotte, North Carolina today. So I might need a little bit more. So I actually am gonna go in with some of this Cover, this Cover FX primer just to make sure your girls stay matte because I ain't trying to sweat my face off today. I have the choice of brow pencil and a pomade. If you are new to brows, don't do this to yourself just yet. Get you a good old brow pencil. I like this brow pencil here, you can get it from Ulta, and it is called Eyelure. They have lashes, brow products, I think just lashes and brow products ain't products anywho this is my pencil and my shade is dark brown and I'm just gonna go through my brows here brows are tricky because you can watch a thousand brow tutorials and it can help and guide you however you have to you have to fill in your brows to fit your face so if you have a small face and you love how thick brows look on girls, that's great. But if you already have a small face and you try to throw in some thick brows, it's not gonna look right. So make sure the brow shape that you're doing fits the structure of your face. How you can kind of stay intact with that is, just basically follow what you naturally have and just enhance that. That's basically what I do. So I always like to start here, under the brow, and then just follow what I have. And there are so many freaking brow tutorials. It's totally oversaturated. That's why I've never done one because I'm just like, look, y'all have seen brows I don't know how many times already. You don't need to see me. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. So I start underneath and then I carve out on top. And then I just very, very small strokes. And remember, ends here, starts here. Don't bring it in too close. Don't take it out too far because then you might start to look a little bit crazy. 
Okay. So the next thing that I like to do after I have my brows on, this is totally optional. I always clean up, up under my brow. I already have a little concealer left over. So I am just going to go right up underneath and clean it up. I do not like a super, super highlighted brow bone under eye area. I like it to look more natural. If you're new here, my style of makeup is definitely natural glam. For when, it, especially when it comes to the skin, I want it to, you know, maybe look like it could potentially be my skin. So well, my skin, my foundation and everything, it's definitely not over the top to each his own. For some people, they like that look. For me, that's just not my preference and that's okay. And I might do some other things that you guys might be like, mm, nope, I don't like that. I'm not feeling it. And that's totally fine because there are no rules to makeup. Like I always say, however, there are a few guidelines. Take it as you want. Do what you want. It's your face. And at the end of the day, it comes off. So it don't even matter. All right. So. All right, so for these eyeballs here, you can use an eye primer. The e.l.f. eye primer is really, really good. Or my other favorite is the Kat Von D High Voltage Primer. This is bomb. Or if you're going to do a two-for-one, you can use your concealer. I do this a lot, especially if you have any discoloration in your eyeballs. Concealer is just going to go ahead and cover everything and give you a nice canvas to work with. So some concealer options. This is my favorite right now. The Kat Von D is good. Naked Skin or whoa, LA Girl Pro Concealer. There are so many shades of this. You can find your tone, they have it for everyone, or the MAC Studio, no, 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 MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, all right? So I'm going to, what do I wanna do today? I'm just gonna use my concealer. I'm just gonna use this Kat Von D concealer today. And now I'm starting to regret that because I didn't quite think through what I'm going to be doing on my eyeballs, but that's okay. And I'm just taking the Beauty Blender. It is a little damp. So if you're using concealer for your primer, which is totally cool, just make sure you set it with a light powder. Otherwise, when you start going in, especially with that first transition shade, it is going to grab and you won't be able to blend it out. So I'm just going to grab some powder that I have sitting here and I'm just gonna especially place that in the crease I don't mind leaving the lid a little bit tacky because I'm probably gonna put some sort of shimmer shade or if I'm the one on matte and I want it to really really be intensified so just really make sure you set that crease area and up under the brow bone okay moving right along eyeshadow there are so many eyeshadow palettes on the market right now. It's very hard to kind of pick and choose. So here's what I'm going to do. I am just going to, for this, recommend one brand just simply because I know that this one brand makes really, really good eyeshadows and it's affordable and you can get a ton of eyeshadows for a really, really good price. So I'm going to recommend Morphe just simply because, like I said, the price is right. They have different palettes. You can pick and choose whatever works best for you. This is the new one, Fall into Frost. I just got it about a couple of days ago. And this is what it looks like bomb for fall right so this entire row down here are all mattes and then all of these are shimmers they have some palettes that have matte and shimmer they have some that are just matte they have some that are just shimmer they have warm tone cool tones this can be for any body all right so rather if you're a makeup artist if you're a student if you're a woman working in an office they have something for you so for our simple, super, super simple eye look, this isn't going to be a ton of blending. I'm going to use, I'm going to try to use only three brushes. I was going to say two, but I don't know if I could do it with two. I'm going to try to use three brushes and be done with it. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to pick a transition color. Transition color can be the same shade as your skin tone, can be one shade lighter. That's typically how I go for it because the transition tone is just to help everything blend out. So I like to use a fluffy bluff, a fluffy bluff. I like to use a fluffy brush and our transition shade for today is going to be this color right here, okay? 
So I'm just going to put my brush in here. Then I got a little bit of fallout. And this is actually a Morphe brush too. This is a B81. And I'm just going to place this right in the crease. And making a rainbow. Super, super simple. All right. And then to blend out any harsh lines, you want to start going in a circle. All right, so again, I'm just going to dip back into that color. Tap off. And this is just going right in the crease. Rainbow. And then circles. Another thing, make sure when you're doing your eye makeup, I always say this, can't stress it enough, leave your eye open. Don't do all of your work with your eye closed because your eyeshadow looks totally different and I'm, I guarantee you're not going to be walking around like this all day long. So just make sure you're leaving that eye open so you can see everything, how it's going to look. Alright, so we got to transition down. So to even simplify this even more... I think we're only going to use two shades today. So now I'm just taking another blending brush. This is a MAC 224 and I'm just blending out the outside here. And make sure when you're blending, you're keeping everything nice. You want to make sure that your brush that you're blending with is clean. I'm just going to use this gold tone right here. And watch this. I'm going to use my finger and I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. I found that with shimmer shades, it is best to use your finger. So that's what I'm doing. Now, if you are a more mature woman or you do not like shimmers, you can just pick, I would pick a bright, not a bright, but a very pigmented matte tone and a flat brush and just pat it on, the, on your eye. So I could have taken this shade right here, which is matte. I just would have got a flat brush and instead of using my finger, use the brush and just pat that all over the lid. All right. And then to make sure everything's nice and blended. Don't be intimidated by eyeshadow. I know it is a rare occasion that I get on YouTube and I see an eye look that is super basic. Just, there's nothing wrong with simple. It's very overwhelming because I know sometimes in myself when I'm making videos, I'm like, oh my gosh, well, is this good enough? Does this compare? First of all, don't compare yourself to everyone else. And second of all, just most of the time, simple less is going to be more. So don't worry about what everyone else is doing, how their makeup looks. You do what you can do. And I guarantee if you just start off simple and just start kind of working your way up, it's going to look good. Now, as you see under here, we got a little bit of fallout. And this is, oh, and I just smeared it. This is a great reason why I don't do my foundation first. Just simply because I never know what I want to do with my eyeshadow. So if I were to already have my foundation and concealer on, this would be a problem. Now a lot of people will say, oh well you could just bake. Well, I don't bake up under my eyes because it gets crazy dry. So just, you know, little word to the wise. So we got our eyeshadow is done. First, let me clean up. I'm going to clean up this fallout. This is Garnier Micellar Water. I don't like the oily makeup remover because I feel like it leaves this oily film on my face. Then I don't really like wipes too much because I feel like it dries me out. This works great. Alright, so I'm just going to get a little bit of this. And also, if you find that your under eyes are super dry um, in the morning after you've washed your face, Apply a little eye cream up under your eye, you know, like maybe 20 minutes before you do your makeup. I don't know your morning routine. I know for me, first thing I do, wake up, use the bathroom, brush my teeth, wash my face, moisturize, then I eat. And then by the time I'm done eating, well, I walk my dog, I walk my dog and eat. And by the time I've done everything, everything's nice and set on my skin. Okay, so I have the rest of the eyeshadow on my other eye. Now let's say you get a little bit messy on the corners or you just want to clean it up. 
take your makeup remover, whatever you like to use, and just kind of go on the sides here, and you can just pull it up. And it'll clean up everything. And if you like that nice sharp edge on the end, you can do that too. I'm just gonna get any fallout that I have here. And just beware, and this is no matter what eyeshadow you're using. If it's a shimmer, it can be something from the drugstore, it can be high end. Just keep in mind that most glitter shadows come with fallout. So it's not anything wrong that you're doing. That's just, you know, the consistency of glitter. All right, guys, so that is actually going to finish up the first part of this makeup tutorial. I will have the second part up tomorrow, and we'll finish up the remainder of the face. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.